do the shirt tail ham first, and you have a sample in your um, sample packet that looks like this. Okay, and I'll hold it up so you can see this way. It looks like this. It has a um, a curve to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the seam, and there again, I already had this cut out, and I I. Um, from now on, I'm doing fabric that you can tell the right and the wrong side, but I already had this cut out, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. All right, so you're sewing your side seam. This is your side seam here, and I'm just going to sew a traditional seam, which is what? Five-eighths. Five-eighths, right. And, and uh, usually done at two and a half or three um, on your stitch length. And I'm going to increase this one because I know... Needle down first. Should I back stitch? Yeah. Yes, because I'm putting them together. Because I'm putting two pieces together. You got it. Okay. And I only just need to do one or two stitches. That's all. All you're doing is locking it. And you'll get to where when you get to the end, you kind of get a rhythm and you'll know how to push the button and go back and see where I didn't even stop. Okay? And cut my thread. Okay, now I would normally um, pink this seam, press it open. I'm not going to pink it, I'm just going to, I am going to go to the iron since I've got it here, and I'm going to press that open. Now a roll cam is so little that you don't really press it. I mean, I'm sorry, yes, you don't press the hem. Okay. on a shirt tail rolled hem. Okay, you did a rolled hem on your pants, which was bigger, okay? But this is a shirt tail, and what you do is you roll it about a fourth of an inch, and then you roll it again, stick it underneath your machine, put your needle down in the edge, foot down, and you turn it as you go, okay? See how my fingernail and fingers are kind of tucking that in, and I'm going to turn it, and stitch a little, right on the edge. Now this is where the needle down, see how my needle stops? You've got that needle down option. Oh, where is that on this machine? Here it is. So the needle stays in your fabric. So when you're manipulating this, it doesn't pull out from under the foot. So that's why I always use the needle down, because I'm always doing something. OK, so you're going to roll it. Remember, I'm kind of sewing on a curve, which I am. That's what a shirt tail hem is. See, we did it on the um, pants, was bigger, so you pressed it. But your rolled hems on a shirt tail hem is smaller, so it's pretty hard to press. You have to you kind of, you turn it as you go. And when you get more practice on this, it goes a lot faster. But you just take your time. It's about a quarter of an inch. Now, if you really think you absolutely have to press it, do. But I think you're going to be more frustrated trying to press it than if you just sit down at the machine and do what I'm doing. Okay. The needle down is real important so that it doesn't... Now, it's more difficult... Okay. Can you see... Let me pull the camera back a little bit. You can see how this is curved. Okay. But that's just... A, now, it looks a little weight and you're going to... Your, there's your, your curved hem, and I'll, now I'm going to go to the uh, iron and press it. This is what it looks like on the outside. Okay, so that's your, that's what you call um, a shirt teller hem or a very small rolled hem. Okay, 
All right. I'm gonna, um, I would normally go press it. Okay, this is your outward curve. This is an inward curve. 